We come back to the topic microservices and centralized logging. Today we'll discuss a scripted field in Kibana. What is a scripted field? How to create a scripted field? What is the advantage and disadvantages? And we'll go by an example. So let's go by that. What is a scripted field? A scripted field is a derived data field which can be derived from one or more than one fields. For example, if you want to create a data field from a string field, I mean string data type field, then you need to go for the scripted field. Another example, if you want to sum two columns, I mean two data fields and create or produce another field, then you need to create a scripted field. And uh, how to create a scripted field that we will talk about later. We'll go by an example. Apart from that, advantage. Advantage is that you can create your own formula based on your data fields and you can generate the fields. So you, you, you can get the calculated data field. That is the advantage. Disadvantage, it requires a lot of memory and computation power. If the data set is used, you should not go by that approach unless and until it is required because it slows down the system let's go by this uh, go by an example uh, open kibana so i have created already this customer data and uh, one index is created let's go to that uh, data if you uh, if you go to discover you will find a lot of data here it's almost 700 record so out of that i just create a saved search uh, let's open it. It's a customer data sales report, and uh, there are some fields like, yeah, there the region, sales representative, sales order, or sales date, item, unit, it cost, and total. If you see the total data, uh, if I go that uh, data field, if I go to management, if I go to index pattern and open that uh, Kibana pattern and uh, and uh, here if I go to total and total keywords that is string field so I cannot make the averages of that data so if I go again for there for the safe search okay I have the sales report as a safe search I saw the total is coming as I uh, showing it's like integer but it's not an integer it's an uh, it's in a string so I cannot make the averages on it uh, on that particular column. Okay, so then I need to create a derived field. So how to create the derived field? I will convert that particular field from uh, uh, from a string to number. So if I go here and if I click the management once again, if I go to index pattern and uh, open that, uh, I know that particular field total. If I click on a scripted field and add an scripted field, okay. So what I need to do? So let's say total underscore number. This is the new name of that particular field, and we are using painless script. It's more as like Java JavaScript like syntax. So we are creating the numbers by default, or we can it's a number, or you can choose the number from here, and then you can be uh, define. What is the precision you require? I mean, after point, how many digits you need to want? Uh, if you change it, it will change automatically. Let's say four digits is it's coming as four. Okay, after uh, point is coming as four. So it's, it depends. It's up to you. Now I'm going to write a painless script for that. Okay, so um, if you see that how to access particular uh, particular field syntax is like that. If you, you can get the help from here, syntax, other syntax you will get from here. So I'm just taking this one, copy, and uh, if I write if not, that is my field is total dot keyword, keyword dot empty ui i'm checking the empty if the 
is not empty then <coughs> i'm creating the value to define a variable def val equal to document dot keyword dot val value now put in a try block try like as block or here I'm the return double zero zero now what i have done here just taking first uh, we're checking whether it is empty or not if not empty then taking the value and then i'm just returning uh, the double value and otherwise if there is exception then i'm just returning uh, zero uh, for the separate side okay now let's create the print yeah this script is invalid the script view is detailed okay so it's a try uh, read rn yeah it's fine. mistake here return now the field is created if you if you go here the index index uh, so you can get the script field is created now if i go here and uh, if i go my uh, if i see the search results if you see that one particular field is yeah, so yeah, I'm adding here. Uh, it's coming now. It's almost same. Okay, it's looking like same, but this is now is a numbered field. This is a string field. So save it. Tab report. Now I'm creating a simple report. Go to visualize and create the average. And um, if I say the creating the metric, taking sales report as a reference and now i want to create uh, the average average and which field i need to take that is total sum so this is the average price now i want to the average price price based on uh, lead group based, based on the region so if i take that Taking a term, this term I should take. I should take the reason. Okay, where is reason? Yeah, the reason. The reason wise, average sale. Is that that uh, there is central reason that is the average sale is this. And now there is options you can play around that. There are some labels, percentages, or you can create it. Okay, you can change the size from here. Or if you need the advanced reporting, you can do it. Now you can save the report. Let's say average sales report. Report for reason. So then you can create a dashboard and you can uh, include this particular report in the dashboard. Thank you. This video is a part of video series based on the topic microservices and centralized logging. If you like this video, then please like, share, and subscribe the channel. Thank you.